Outside of several RCMP markers that were left behind, one wouldn't know that this is where Nanaimo's latest homicide victim was found 10 days ago at the edge of Bowen Park behind the curling rink off Comox Road. Saturday, Nanaimo RCMP identified him as 42-year-old Lee Harland of no fixed address. I was shocked. I'm still kind of saying, no, it can't be true. I'm expecting him to walk around and see him somewhere. Police released these two pictures. This one shows the clothes he was wearing shortly before his body was discovered and reported to police September 12th. They're hoping it will jog memories. We're also asking for any dash cam video for the period September 9th to September 12th. Lee Harland arrived at Mount Washington from Winnipeg to work the 2022-23 winter before going to Nanaimo. He lived at the Castaway Hotel for about seven months until two months ago. Kevin Dick got to know Harlan during the past year. Generous and very kind. Always like, uh, you know, hey, let's make a conversation, make the best of it. And he, uh, he could bring good things out in people. For a couple of months, Harlan worked at the overdose prevention site in Nanaimo, but after losing his brother to an overdose in June, those in the community say he started using again. He was getting food from us nightly. He was trying to get off the hardcore drugs. The last time I talked to him, he was only smoking weed, and he wanted to come volunteer for us. Dick says the details he's heard about the killing are traumatizing. They held him in his tent, and then they uh, just destroyed him. Beat him up? Yeah. More than one person? Uh, I heard there was a couple people there, and they just stomped him to death. Out of all the homeless people, why him? Because, to my knowledge, he was quiet, always willing to help other people. Everyone we spoke to says Harlan did not deserve to be killed, and their hopeful information will lead police to those responsible.